Okay, let's take a look at this for Team 2 and see what we can change. First of all, to notice along here, we have the average gross unit margin. If we look at that average gross, gross unit margin, the definition for that, just a second here. Okay, the gross unit margin here is they've taken a revenue per product and subtracted the actual unit cost. So they're dealing with the uh, margin for each individual unit as opposed to looking at the overall margin uh, for the, that number of units on that transaction line, which is okay if it, and later on you uh, multiply back in by the number of units at some point. So we'll click on OK there. So that's what they've got here in reality, the average gross unit margin. Up here it says gross margin percent, and that's what they talked about it in the class for the most part. So that is what I call a grossly misleading uh, graphic because uh, what we have here is correct, but this tells us that it's something that it's not. And so the reader would be, or user would be, grossly misled about that. And the next thing is, if this really was a percentage, we should depict, depict this as a percentage. It's also showing very few cases where the margin percentage is actually less than zero. So we're not losing money on anything. And that kind of flies against the experience we saw with some of the other groups. Um, there is another calculation here, GMP, which is, the, in fact, the actual gross margin percentage. The um, units have been multiplied in, and it's being divided by the dollar sales. It's also being aggregated up to whatever level of granularity uh, is needed by the sum operator. So that's the one that they should have been using. And so we move that up here and replace, and let's see how the graphic changes when we do that. Okay, it looks like the shape is similar. So it could be that the argument that they were making would still have some validity, but this time it would be based on the real data rather than on data that um, is incorrect. I would say that it actually tells the story that syrups uh, here have the best potential for doing better when they're on promotion as opposed to any of the other goods that we're looking at. Taking a look at their Aunt Jemima versus uh, Mrs. Butterworth. So... There's a little difficulty here in the fact that we're looking at one or the other, but we don't actually know which one we're looking at at this point. If I click on the filter and say show filter, I at least would find out that this is Aunt Jemima. And then if I wanted to do Mrs. Butterworth, I could go down here and click on that. And well, oh, wait a minute. It looks like these are both at the same time. During the presentation, I had the impression that they were somehow contrasting the two, but now I understand uh, and I guess they are, because one is a pancake mix and the other one is a syrup. I think we'd better bring a product, product description in here and see how many different products we're talking about. It looks like in the pancake mixes, we're talking about uh, one, two, three, four, five. In the syrups, we're talking about one, two, three, and looks like quite a few more products here. Only a few of which were actually on promo. So this is actually a rather enlightening graph just by itself. The next thing, though, is to say this is the wrong uh, KPI here. Let's move our gross margin percentage over here and replace that. And then uh, we can see what the real numbers look like. So what might be interesting here is to click off all the ones that have never had any promotions. For example, I'll exclude that one. I'll exclude this one here. I'll exclude this one. Let's see, exclude, exclude, exclude. I could highlight more than one at a time, probably. Exclude, exclude. I just want to make sure I do it right. Exclude. I saw one point on that, but that was too little to worry about. Exclude, exclude, exclude. Oh, that's got some on it. Let's see, here's one. Exclude, and down here, let's exclude that one. And looks like here we've got basically all of the Aunt Jemima and Mrs. Butterworths where there were actually were promotions and, um, and not promotions. Let's hide this card over here so that we can get back to easily seeing our legend here. And so promo on, let's see, for each one of these, what's the performance? 
looks like in almost all cases the gross margin percentage is lower, which is what we expect. So my last word is that the team is correct uh, to say that to use this data, it's probably necessary to do quite a bit of drilling down into the data and have category managers and brand managers who are monitoring the data and using it to its full potential. And of course, I didn't really ask you to do that necessarily, but drilling down is a good strategy for illustrating certain concepts. So the team wasn't wrong to do that, uh, but the execution uh, could have been a little bit better.